Hello, everyone. Today, we'll be exploring the tale of Yurashi Mataro, the fisher lad from Japanese fairy tales. Once upon a time, in a small fishing village, there lived a young fisherman named Yurashi Mataro. He led a simple life, waking up early to set out in his wooden boat to catch fish for his family and village. Though he was poor, Yurashi Mataro was content and kind-hearted. One summer day, as Yurashi Mataro walked along the beach, he saw a group of children gathered around a small turtle. They were poking and tormenting the poor creature. Moved by pity, Yurashi Mataro approached the children and gently persuaded them to leave the turtle alone. Grateful for his intervention, the turtle looked at him with wise, knowing eyes and then swam away into the sea. The following day, Yurashi Mataro went out to fish as usual. As he cast his net, he noticed the same turtle from the day before swimming towards his boat. The turtle thanked him for saving its life and revealed that it was no ordinary turtle, but a magical one, sent by the sea king Ryujin to find a worthy human to visit his palace beneath the sea. The turtle offered to take Yurashi Mataro to the sea king's palace, and, filled with curiosity and wonder, the fisherman agreed. He climbed onto the turtle's back, and they dove beneath the waves, descending deeper and deeper until they reached the entrance to the sea king's palace. The palace was a breathtaking sight, with walls made of coral, roofs adorned with shells, and seaweed gardens as far as the eye could see. The sea king, Ryujin, welcomed Yurashi Mataro warmly and introduced him to his beautiful daughter, Princess Odoheim. Yurashi Mataro was enchanted by the palace and its inhabitants. He spent days exploring the underwater realm, enjoying the beauty of the sea and the company of the princess. He felt a deep connection with Princess Odoheim, and their bond grew stronger as the days went by. After many days spent in the enchanted sea kingdom, Yurashi Mataro began to long for his home and family. He expressed his desire to return to the surface world, and though saddened by his departure, Princess Odoheim understood his longing. As a parting gift, she presented him with a beautiful lacquer box, tied with a silk ribbon. She warned him never to open the box, as it contained a secret that must not be revealed. Yurashi Mataro thanked her, promising to cherish and protect the gift, and with a heavy heart, he said goodbye. The magical turtle carried Yurashi Mataro back to the surface world, and as they emerged from the sea, he found himself on the same beach where his journey had begun. However, everything seemed different, as though he had been away for a very long time. He made his way to his village, but none of the villagers recognized him, and his own family was nowhere to be found. Desperate for answers, he asked an old woman about his parents, only to discover that they had passed away many years ago. Confused and heartbroken, Yurashi Mataro realized that time had passed differently in the Enchanted Sea Kingdom. While he had been away for only a few days, years had passed in the world above. His home, his family, and everything he had known and loved were gone. In his despair, Yurashi Mataro remembered the mysterious lacquer box that Princess Odoheim had given him. He thought that perhaps the secret within the box could help him restore his old life. Torn between his promise to the princess and his longing for his lost world, he eventually succumbed to temptation and opened the box. As Yurashi Mataro untied the silk ribbon and lifted the lid, a wisp of shimmering smoke escaped from the box. It swirled around him, enveloping him in a cloud of mist. He felt a sudden dizziness as the years that he had lost in the enchanted sea kingdom caught up with him. In an instant, his youthful appearance faded, and he became an old man. His hair turned white, his skin wrinkled, and his strength ebbed away. Realizing the gravity of his mistake, he wept for the life he had left behind and the promise he had broken. Though Yurashi Mataro could not regain his lost youth, the story of his adventure spread far and wide, and he became a legend in his village.